Okay, coach. So two and all on the day for you guys. Yep. Uh, LaSalle obviously brought a shorthanded squad, but um, you get some some quality matches there against St. Edward. Yep. Um, when you look at some of those, um, you guys are you're, you're out there grinding, you're battling. 120. 120. Miller, he looked good. Yeah, he looked great. Uh, man, he stays so consistent. He stays consistent with effort, technique, uh, his weight cut. He's just he's been looking really good this year. Um, 145. That's another one where I look at yeah. the officiating really changed that match because you got to cut him. Yeah, you got to let him go, yeah. but I don't think you're stalling. Right, and you know we won't blame the official. Uh, you, you know um, we had opportunities to earn a takedown and we didn't get it. And Lorenzo, you know from Ironman till now, he's turned a big corner and he's been getting better. And you know and that kid's pretty tough that he wrestled obviously. So that was a big one. 13 was one we wanted to switch to. We lost to that kid out at uh, at Ironman. Both of those kids are new, brand new Blair kids that you know are climbing, 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 and they're climbing at the right time. You know, and both of them, you know, they're just closing a gap, and we're just not there yet. But yet, it's a pretty big word. You know? do, you, do you say anything to Mark Anthony about an 18 second pin? Do you, don't you want him on the mat a little bit longer? Not really. Uh, <laughs> no. 19 second pin. It's a 19 second pin, and there's a lot of tough matches that he's had this year. And uh, you know, there's Aerodynes back there where he can get some some work, and you know, our practice room he can get some work, you know, on Sunday or Monday. So uh, you got a chance to go out and pin somebody, you go do it. You know, you, you're like a no excuse guy. You're a Naval Academy grad. It's all about like being the best you could be. We can't afford for our academy people not be the best, right? It's America, the richest, most powerful nation ever. When you have things that just don't go your way, how do you prepare these kids to persevere? And we can't blame, blame the official. We can't blame yeah, this. We well, can't blame that. How do you, you do that? You know, I, you know, I got a little wrapped up into, into, into it today too, and I apologize to our team because uh, I started focusing too much on that when I needed to focus on guys. Uh, but we constantly tell the guys there's always going to be bad, bad calls. There's always going to be the bus is late. There's always going to be the gym. There's going to be a thousand excuses, but nobody cares at the end of the day about the excuses. You know, can you go out and compete as hard as you can with the situation you have? And that's our goal. And if we can do it every weekend, great. You know, if you blame an official or you blame, uh, you know, somebody's mom, <laughs> you know, it just ain't going to work. It's just like you know, you look at your Iron Man. You don't have you don't have Shane. You don't have all these different guys. You don't have right. right. Yeah, but we had guys wrestle. You know, if you want to say in their spot, they wrestled the weights that those guys were going to compete and they had an opportunity. It's, that was our team that weekend. This was our team this weekend. Next weekend, it may be a different, you know, a lineup may be, may be different. Who knows? You know, people get sick. People get hurt. It's a rugged sport. Um, so, you know, that's why there's more than 14 guys on a roster. You know. What's next? Uh, so we have like a league thing next. It's called the Maple Duels. Uh, and then we have, um, we'll wrestle Naps the following weekend, and then we're almost there, qualifier and, uh, and uh, national prep tournament. Preps is that you guys win it, you're the champs. They win it, they're the champs. Right. You split already. You split the, they they yeah. took Iron Man, you took the duel. Yeah. What do you got to do to get them ramped up? I mean, I don't even know what, what, what is the amount you guys have won? What, uh, under you, what have you won? Four or five national titles? Uh, I think five. Five national titles under you. You know, this is a machine. You know, we keep reloading here, right? right. It's never a rebuild at Blair. What do you got to do to? And, and he's the one who beat you. Right. You know, Scott Green's team's the one that beat you. Right. So this is obviously super competitive. Yeah, and I think the more we just focus on what we do and what we can control, it's uh, you know, it goes, you know, the way you want it to. Uh, we focus on them and what they're doing. That's kind of a waste of time. Focus on getting better. Focus on Lorenzo turning that corner and Mason Stefanelli turning the corner. Cody Chittum looked great. He's a freshman and he looked really tough today, right? That wasn't the Cody we saw at Ironman, but now he's getting a handle. One on beast. Swing. I know, right? But the weekend before an Ironman was didn't go the way we wanted, but he's progressing at a crazy fast rate, right? From where we started. He's a mutant. Yeah, no, he's, he's, he's an incredible he's, physical specimen. He's, He's tough. He's a hammer. He likes the sport. Like there's so many positive things about him, but he had to try to figure a couple things out. And now he's kind of got the rhythm of, yeah, we got to do this every weekend. Like man, now he's in a groove and now he's rocking. So you know, it, it, there's a little bit of a learning curve to wrestling. You know, the schedule that we do, and man, he learned it really fast. Like really fast as a freshman. Can you teach him how to get avoid? He, he's got to avoid getting called for stalling when he puts 20 points on the board. How do you do that, coach? I, yeah, I, I don't know. That's a have great you ever question. seen anything like I, that in your I life? Just honestly, 
I know you're behind it, but it's, just I've just never him. seen anything keep like doing that. The same thing that he's been doing. And if you keep doing that, you know, one out of a hundred reps, if that's what the call is, that's what it is. Like, what well, I'm not going to tell you to back up. I'm not going to tell you to not try to pin a guy. I like that you're not going to change anything there. Yeah. It wasn't an anomaly. We all get that, right? It's not a thing that it normally occurs. Correct. When you drive someone out of bounds with a cradle and trying to to roll them over to their back and pin them and you get called for stalling. All right, coach, you got anything else for me? No, thanks a lot. And, uh, man, my assistant coach is doing an unbelievable job. You got to start interviewing them. So they're, they're smarter than I am. Okay, how many of your assistant coaches are Naval Academy grads? Well, Marines, more importantly. Uh, two of them, they're, they are Naval Academy wow. guys, but we all went to the Marine Corps or in the Marine Corps together, so I coached two of them. Just like Frank uh, Workman, my guy Frank Workman. Yeah, Ohio He's a Marine, guy. right? Yeah, and in that town, going to this town, and say Vermillion. the home, yeah, the yeah. home of Frank Workman. It sure does. They didn't change it. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just But no, right there, my assistant. These guys Those are good guys. guys. They grind, man. Yeah, no, I mean, they're cooling kids down. They're warming them up, you know, and their wives give up so much for them to, these guys to be here, wives home watching their kids. It's, you know, you guys keep interviewing me, you interview them and their wives, you get more out, <laughs> you get a better interview probably. Coach, thanks for the time. Good luck to you yes, guys. Yes, thanks a lot.